the all new 2014 R-Line Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Could it completely shatter its girly image? Let's find out. Well, the shape is classic. It's instantly recognizable as a Volkswagen Beetle. And to me, that's a great thing. To my eye, the new, new Beetle looks more masculine, but this R-Line really takes it over the top. It's very aggressive. The contrasting black side view mirror plus the R-Line badge combine well with the wheels and also this side detail to cap off the aggressive look. It's a beetle from every angle and I think it's a new classic. Inside it's similar to other Volkswagens in the current model lineup. The heated leather seats are manually controlled but really really well designed for this sporty Volkswagen Beetle. The bolsters really hold you in well in cornering, and that's important. The armrest is not very large, but it gets the job done with some storage inside. Fold it out of the way, and you see two storage compartments, two cup holders here, and a real handbrake. The automatic transmission has a sport mode, and you can also shift it manually right here. You get one charger and push-button start, too, plus a bit more storage back here. You also get familiar and straightforward easy to use controls for the ventilation system and the heated seats. The infotainment screen is similar to other Volkswagens. Switch it over to radio mode and you can have up to 18 presets which is nice. The navigation icons are a bit peculiar but once you learn them it's easy to use. Up top you get three additional gauges, oil temperature, stopwatch, and turbo boost gauge. You also get not one, but two glove boxes. Being a guitar player, also a fan of the Fender Stratocaster, Mustang, and Telecaster, I'm also a fan of the Fender sound system too. The Audi-influenced flat-bottom steering wheel has a cool aggressive shape. It also has controls for your Bluetooth and menu screens up on the gauge cluster. Gives you nice useful information. I like the digital speedometer too. Very cool. Given the sporty nature of the R-Line, of course you get a tachometer. And these paddle shifters really feel nice on your hands. Excellent design, some of the best I've used so far. To the left of the steering wheel you have controls for lighting. And on the door you have controls for your power locks. Also of course your side view mirrors. And power windows too. Down here you get this elastic to hold in a bit of storage right there. Nice. Up top you have control for your power roof. And some additional lighting too. Overall, it's a great interior. A little bit sporty, very comfortable, and a bit luxurious too. A nice combination. The front seat easily slides out of the way to give you access to the back seats. Seating for two, maybe three very small people if need be. You also get a cup holder back there and a charger. The spoiler not only looks good, but it's also functional too. It keeps you stable at high speeds. Pop open the trunk, and there's really reasonable storage for a convertible. You can also store the boot back here too, for the top. Pull these levers in the trunk, and you release the back seats for a pass-through. Even more room. Nice. The Beetle R-Line convertible is powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder which produces 210 horsepower and 201 pound-feet of torque. That'll get you to 60 in 6.9 seconds. Fuel economy is rated at 21 miles per gallon in the city and 30 miles per gallon on the highway. You can expect 25 miles per gallon overall. Outside, pretty warm. 
and I'm super warm inside the Beetle convertible here. It's got heated seats and the heat works very well when you crank it up. It's actually hot. Put your hands in the draft and uh, it burns a little bit. So this is a great car to drive pretty much almost year round depending on where you live, even with the top down. There's nothing like Alfresco motoring. I simply love convertibles. The breeze in your hair, the sunshine up above. There's something very magical about it. I've always owned at least one convertible at any given time. I can't seem to do without them. My last car was a hardtop and didn't last very long. I can't deal with the roof. But the Beetle here's got you covered. If you don't like the convertible, you can save five grand. Pricing for the Volkswagen R-Line convertible starts out at $29,395. Now you can get the coupe version for $24,995. My test car with the sound and navigation package starts out at $34,495. Options are limited to the $130 monster mats and the $80 security wheel locks. So you're out the dealer door with destination at $35,525. Now it is a pretty loaded car and it does come with heated seats, of course, a nice fender sound package and navigation. And it's a very comfortable car. It feels a lot like other cars in Volkswagen's lineup, but also you've got very snug seats from the R-Line. They definitely have some extra bolstering and they really contour to your body well, keep you into the seat under cornering, and that's a good thing. It feels like it's comfortable cruising at high Audubon speeds all day, and it'll get you there in style and comfort, and get you there quickly too. <laughs> this is a different Beetle. It just balances so well. These paddle shifters, like nothing you've seen before in a Beetle. They feel great to the hands, and the power that you get, really nice. Listen to that engine tone. Gear down, match revs. It's really a screamer. Forget about power to get on and off the highway. It's got real usable power. Feels more like a GTI than a Beetle, and that's an excellent thing. Now, checking out the night look on the Beetle R Line convertible. I like these gauges up here, but overall, I don't like a red glow at night. The dash the gauges look awesome, but I could do without the red glow which is predominant. Nice blue fender speaker down there though. That looks great. I really like it when they put the speed limit in the navigation. I think that's a great feature. Keeps you from speeding and keeps you aware of the speed limit. Very nice. The navigation also shows up here which I like. Plus you can enter it in while you're driving, although that's not ideal and not very safe. Now, snow and slush is definitely not the Volkswagen Beetle convertible's forte. But thanks to modernization, now you have a front engine, front wheel drive Beetle. It used to be a rear engine, rear wheel drive, which actually was surprisingly good in the snow because the engine was over the drive wheels as it is now. Being front wheel drive, the engine's right over the drive wheels. But certainly, you do see the traction light kicking in. But it's a pretty competent car. Despite the lack of all wheel drive, it still grips pretty well. Very predictable handling, and it's easy to control. And it does plow through the snow. Of course, it also has analog brakes, which are a definite plus in this weather. And it really doesn't matter which Beetle you're in. The R-Line, the turbo diesel, the convertible, the coupe. They all bring a smile to people's faces when they see it. And for good reason. It's not just about the history. It's just a really 
good looking, usually cute, but in this case, very nice handling sport coupe. The fact that it has four seats and that it's a convertible, well, that's just icing on the cake. Now the Volkswagen Beetle definitely has some competition, you might say from the likes of the Ford Mustang convertible, perhaps the Fiat 500 convertible, maybe even the BMW 1 Series. But I think the real competition comes from Volkswagen themselves. You know, there's a turbo diesel version. Now it's got a totally different look. It's definitely more pedestrian. The R-Line is definitely over the top. It's definitely a manly car. It definitely has aggression in its shape and its design. You can shift it with the paddle shifters. So it's a different feel than the turbo diesel, but the TDI is definitely in the same price class, maybe even a hair cheaper. Plus, it definitely gets a bit better gas mileage too. So I think that's the biggest competition. And I'm pretty excited about Volkswagen's R-Line. You know, you can get this in a CC. You can also get it in the Tiguan or the Touareg. So you've got some versatility, sort of like Infiniti's IPL perhaps BMW's Motorsports or Mercedes AMG. Of course, the R-Line is kind of the new kid on the block. They've been available in Europe for longer, but in America, definitely a new thing for Volkswagen. And I think it's a great thing. It's a way to offer a bit more character to definitely girly cars like the Volkswagen Beetle and certainly the Beetle convertible. And I do think they pull it off. This Volkswagen Beetle R-Line is definitely an aggressive car. I don't think it's a chick car at all. You can shift it with the paddle shifters. The shift pattern is very aggressive. It matches revs. It definitely feels like a performance car. This is definitely not your sister's Volkswagen Beetle. This is an aggressive car and it sounds right and most importantly, it looks right. I'm driving Ivan Katz.